Alright guys, welcome back. For some more Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. You know the drill, you know the drill. Anyway, last time we completed Episode X. Now it is time to do the final episode, Cleave the Moon. We'll use normal Zangetsu and Veteran as one player. As Dominique was saved and reunited with Zangetsu and his allies, they became aware of a new threat. The armies of the moon were rapidly approaching. There was not a moment to spare, as the battle for the fate of humanity had quietly begun. Let me be frank. I have concluded that, at present, it is impossible for us to attack the moon. That is, of course, here and now. However, together with the church's knowledge, along with the shards we collected, and my alchemail, and my Alchem alchemical skills, we designed a vessel using the same principles as Hachi's armor. Let us sully forth to the moon, is what I would like to say, but I'm afraid we are lacking the materials needed to construct the vessel. We are either shorter on time. We must split up and gather materials individually. Once you find what we need, please hurry to assist the others. Let us pray for luck. So episode four, or the final episode, is played differently. We don't just have a linear path. We talk to this holographic Alfred here. This would start the final level. What we really have to do is go back to the levels and complete them. How is that done? With a stage select screen. Yes, guys. This is how the levels are constructed. We can go to any one of the seven levels in any way we want. Completing, um, completing one of them will net us a part we need to finish the vessel. Although there are other things you can do. The characters you see on the screen for each corresponding level is who is there hunting for the item. Also, when you complete the level with that person, you will unlock them freely, because right now, it is just Sangetsu that we have. The two boxes next to their name are the upgrades. Yes, the upgrades are here. Once again, if you remember from uh, episode two and episode X, those alternate paths, we found all items in there. That's essentially what was prepping us for this. Good news is, if you ever grab an item, you own it forever, so you can prematurely leave the level. Any items you collected, you'll get. Although be aware, if you are in a level with a character in it, you must complete it first to unlock them. For example, level 1 has Jeebel, as we can tell. If we complete the level, we will get Jeebel as well. The final episode is on the uh, hard difficulty as episode 2 and episode X. What's to be known about gathering the items is to of course know which character you need. We may need like Hachi to break down the floor, or we may need Hachi to break down a wall, or we can get Miriam and get her axe, or we may need to go prone and we may need Robert. We may need uh, some invincible way, which is Alfred's fire shield or Hachi's invincibility. There's a lot of factors to worry about in gathering all the items. So like for example, in, episode, in the first level, we can't go down the first path because we don't have a way to break down the floor. Unless we get Hachi, who is located in the volcano level. And we are at base with our upgrades. It's pretty much the same thing. There's one heart and one uh, weapon point, I believe. I think each level has those. I think one level may have two weapon points. I'm not sure. But if we wanted the attack upgrade, it is located in level 6. And the defense upgrade is located in level 7. Now, I'm going to try and do these in the most efficient way I can to where I can get all the items legitimately without traversing through so much. So, right now, 
we can actually grab an item with Jeebel in level 1. So let's go do that. And we only have access to him and Zengetsu. Skeletons here tell us any way we can go, but unfortunately with our limited characters, we can only go forward. But we can go this way. And I think we do need g -ball the rest of the way, so... Weapon points in final episode only give us five as opposed to ten like they did. Probably because there's more of them. Alright, I'm gonna need Zengetsu for this. Because I trust him hitting those more effectively. Now we would need Miriam to go down there, or we could essentially fly with Jeebel down there. We can't go that way because we don't have a way of invincibility. Unless we wanted to fly across, but I'm not going to do that. And I would feel better having... Son of a... Well, shit. Now we don't have Zengetsu. I have every right to be worried. Oh no, demon. What sucks is I can't hit those rats. when I'm at even level. Yeah. Oh, wait, don't we have the frogs? Yeah, we have the frogs. All right. I'll just make them jump off. Alright, uh, I can't hit him. Oh god, it still hits. Oh, come on! You can't go through that?! Well, the good news is we have the uh, weapon point upgrade, and Jibo is something we need. Jibo is someone we need later, so let's at least try and finish the level.
Alright. Trust evil with the frogs. Also, if you are playing along with this game, one thing I didn't mention. The characters, they are not set. So, if you're playing, you could have Hachi be in the first level. It is completely randomized who's where and who doesn't have one. What's the point of having no character? Well, there is a secret you can do in this game. I'm not going to do it here. Alright. You can defeat the, the, the boss with Zangetsu solo if you do the level without him. If you do the level without somebody, you can unlock the chance to do the final boss with just Sangetsu. I would not recommend it unless you're doing Ultimate Sangetsu. That's how you unlock single mode. But we're not doing that in this playthrough. We are doing the full final episode with just what we got. So the last upgrade, as we know, it's down the path we need Hachi. When we have Hachi, we can come back here, grab that item, and leave. We won't have to fight the Wyvern again. Whatever this thing is. take my time on this guy because I really don't want to die finish them off. Alright. Same thing. Alright. Alright. So now we have Jeebo unlocked. Should we need him in any levels? And we got a shard furnace. And we can talk to Jeebo. About that dog Hachi and that massive magic armor. That looks powerful, but it must be difficult to maneuver. Surely those short enemies must be a nightmare. Oh well, no, Hachi simply crushes them underfoot. They're barely an obstacle. 
I see. Good for Hachi. And we can go on to the next level. So as we saw now, we can go anywhere we want because I think Jeebo really makes things easy. Unfortunately, if we take the base path, there will be no item. And we don't really have anybody for that. Having Hachi or Miriam with her axe would make us go the second episode way. And I think we need... Or we can slide underneath to go down the third episode way. Alfred isn't really much of a uh, helpful thing as he... As he as you think he is. He has his um, good points, but I don't consider him to be an asset in item collecting. Having Jeebo would let us go down the third episode way. There's really... It's only the first three levels that have the uh, two item... Two different ways. If you look at the map, yeah. It would show exactly what, what, what we're dealing with. Hmm. Here, we would take the basic path. And we just get Dominique from it. But the boss, yeah, we gotta think about the boss... Since it's that two two face serpent, Hachi is really beneficial for anything, but unfortunately he's in the f level that I dislike the most. We would need Alfred actually for this. Now thinking about it, because we need to freeze the uh, lava. He's the only one that can do that. Although we, we Jibo would let us get the uh, attack upgrade at least here, since it's in the uh, episode three direction. Miriam with the axe would let us get the defense upgrade, and we'd be taking the uh, the um, episode three way. I don't know. There's so many options to think about. I'll make my decision the next time, guys. Join me next time for when we decide which way to go. Let's thank Curse of the Moon too to be continued.